I respect your time, so let's get right into it. The new event pet adventure diary just hit the C servers today. The concept is pretty simple. There is a board with 23 steps. You get reward from completing X number of rounds across the board. So completing 10 rounds across the board gets you the old card album. And completing 80 rounds around the board gets you a mount. To move around the board, you either roll the dice that cost 3,600 crystals each, or you can just complete your daily events to get the 9 pet gacha scrolls. So altogether there are 9. So since there are 23 steps on the board, on average the dice rolls should net you around 3 to 4 steps per row. So on average you can complete the board with 7 to 8 steps. Given that the event is about 7 days, you can probably complete the board 7 times. So not even enough to hit the first reward of 10 times. Now the event also has other rewards tied to it. Currently when you use Odin's Blessing to hit level 21 and above mobs, there's a chance for the mob to drop 4 items. The apple, the, oops, the apple, the carrot, the anal beat, no, the morning dew and the grapes. So these drops are all tradable in the exchange center under coins and events. It's all in urgent demand right now. And you can also swap them for other items. So when you go to material swap, you can use an you can use carrot and a morning dew to change for an apple and so on and so forth. So for example, to get an apple, you can use a carrot and a morning dew to trade for it. Now, based on the prices in the exchange center right now, apple is worth one two four, carrot is one two four, morning dew is two four two, grapes is four ninety. In other words, the value from the material swap sucks ass. Now. Today morning, I spent about 1,700 Odin's Blessing to farm in a party and this is what I got. 6 Apple, 6 Carrot, 5 Morning Dew and 2 Grapes. And I'll, maybe I'll do it solo tomorrow and see if there's any difference. But from the looks of it, the drop rate is pretty shit. And personally, I don't think this is a very free-to-play friendly event. But I'm not salty about it. The game needs players to spend for us free-to-play leeches to enjoy the game for free. So the way I look at it is I'll just farm as normal and... On the last day, I will just take a look at how close I am to exchanging for a reward and decide whether I want to open my Odin's Blessings to farm for it. Now, given my terrible luck, I'm realistic enough to know that I will probably not even hit 10 completed cycles around the board and I don't think a random white card is worth spending crystals on at all. And the, the rate for the material swaps are very bad. I will probably just keep everything I have and I'll look at the prices of these items on the last day and see if selling those items directly would net me more crystals to just directly buy the items. So for example, using the current prices below, let's look at the rewards. Huh? 60 apples, 40 carrots, 24 morning deals, and 13 grapes to change for this um, refinement selection pack 2. So let's see whether it's worth it or not. Huh? Using the prices that I found on the exchange center, 60 apples, 1 to 4 each is 7,440. 40 carrots times 1 to 4, 4,900 60, 24 morning deals times 2, what's the number? 242, 5,808, and 13 grapes times 490, right? 490 is 6,370. So let's add all of them together. Plus 5,808, plus 4,960, plus 7,440. So this refinement selection pack 2 essentially the value is 24,578. If you look at the items that you can get, already the con is about 6k in my server, times 3 is only 18k. And none of these items are worth that much as well. So, technically speaking, you can just sell everything here and you can just buy whatever you need from the exchange and it's, you can still have leftover crystals. So, I don't know. I just think that this event is pretty scuffed. And I know I'm a free-to-play player, so I'm not aiming for the costume at all. So let's do the same thing for the other boxes as well, right? So this is uh, upgrading selection pack 2. Okay, so Frecon 1 Carnium is about 2k, 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 2k. So this is about 4k, 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 5k, okay. So generally speaking, this is this pack should be worth around 5k. 4 to 5k. So let's see whether the items reflect that. 10, 10 apples times 1, 2, 4. 8 carrots times 1, 2, 4. 5 morning deals times 242, 3 grapes times 490. So let's add them together plus 1210 plus 992 plus 1240. So roughly this box is okay. 4912. The price of I think basic 2 is about 5k. So this is slightly more reasonable. 
Yep, so do your own mathematics, do your own due diligence and take a look at the prices in your server on the last day, see whether is it worth it to just sell all these items to change for the rewards here or directly change for the rewards here. Okay, that's it for me. For free to play players, please do not spend any crystals to spin the board. The old white card is not worth it at all. Look at my other videos to find out where to spend your hard earned crystals. Do not use the material swap, the value sucks ass. Continue to monitor the prices of those four items in your server and decide whether it's worthwhile to just sell the items directly to get more value. Like the video if you appreciate the value breakdown at the end of the day. This is free stuff, so I ain't complaining. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos that give you value and help you stay ahead of the free to play curve. Remember, outplay, not outpay. Bye.